What's up YouTube? Uh, Glenn here. Uh, just wanted to share kind of a, an experience that I had recently with the my new DJI Mavic Pro. Um, so I've only flown it a handful of times. Um, if, if you want more information on it, you can check out my unboxing video. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but only flown it a handful of times and every time that I've flown it It's given me a notification when going into the uh, app that there is a new firmware update available And so after flying it yesterday I decided to come home and to go ahead and uh, do that firmware update uh, I my battery level was at about 89% and uh, it did notify me to do it on a fully charged battery. I thought that would be sufficient enough, uh, but I went ahead and uh, went through the firmware update, and my first go around, it, it did fail. Um, and after uh, doing the firmware and failing that update, I noticed this. Uh, the battery here is uh, flashing with the two lights in the middle, and uh, it is just completely unresponsive. And when I try to uh, put it back into update mode, uh, it says that the battery level is below 50% and that it cannot proceed with the update. Uh, so I, I did successfully update the firmware on uh, the, the Mavic using another battery because thankfully I have multiple batteries. Uh, but, you know, had this been my only battery, that would have been a real bummer because I've read a lot of stuff online and, and seen where a lot of people aren't successful in getting these uh, unlocked because my understanding is basically that it's still uh, locked in firmware update mode. And so that's why it won't go come out of that. And so if you had only one battery, that would be it. You're, you're out of uh, flight time until you get that issue taken care of, which a lot of people um, have had to return batteries uh, to DJI to get them replaced. And some people have been successful in uh, unlocking them. But I'm going to share with you uh, how I uh, am going to unlock this to be able to use it again. And uh, so some things that you'll need, of course, the battery. Uh, you're going to need your Mavic Pro and you're going to need a USB, micro USB uh, connector to be able to plug it into your computer. Uh, now the connector uh, to be able to connect it to your computer is on the Mavic itself and it is right here on the side of the Mavic there's a small little port here uh, to be able to plug in your micro uh, USB card and or, sorry your micro USB connector and so some um, very important things to keep in mind when you plug this battery in it is going to instantly turn on the Mavic Pro and so you don't want to uh, plug it in with the gimbal lock still on because it is going to uh, try to uh, calibrate the gimbal and so you don't want any any damage on that um, so be careful when you you plug that right in but uh, with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you a few things on the computer what you need to do uh, to be able to get this unlocked because you are gonna uh, have to be at your computer uh, so let's go ahead and get right to that okay uh, so here we are at the uh, DJI website which is where you need to navigate to to get started on this process uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to drones up here and you're gonna choose Mavic which is gonna take you here uh, to the Mavic homepage and you're gonna go over here to downloads and from here you're gonna see on the right some software downloads and you're going to be downloading the DJI Assistant 2. Uh, now, depending on whether you have Windows or whether you have Mac, which I have Windows, as you can see, um, you can either download zip or you can download the extension file. Um, I downloaded the extension file and just installed it from there. It will ask you for a few uh, permissions to, to allow that. Just go ahead and click yes. You're going to go ahead and plug your drone into your computer. It's going to go uh, through a few things that you you can see here uh, you know it's a removable disk uh, G it actually popped up on my computer a few times that there was some issues with that and if I wanted to scan it to fix it did not do any of that because I don't want it doing anything to the Mavic or, or the disk like that um, so you can just go ahead and ignore all that stuff then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna open up the DJI assistant 
and it's gonna it may ask you for some permissions go ahead and click yes uh, now for me it as you see it just automatically uh, logged me in there but if you are uh, doing this for the first time you're gonna need to create a, an account or log into your existing account uh, then once you log in it's gonna pop up over here with connected devices so thankfully it recognizes that the Mavic is connected and uh, so you're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna right away start on the firmware update page and you see it says firmware incompatibility detected between some modules and current device upgrade your firmware and you're gonna go ahead and click confirm and it's updating here you do want to go through uh, that route rather than uh, bypassing that and trying to do the upgrade um, through the main uh, firmware update page because you want it to recognize that it has that issue and you're fixing that issue otherwise it will give you an error saying that the battery must be over 50 percent um, and will not allow you to do anything so it is very important that you uh, go through that step where it says incompatibility um, you may need to uh, restart the device by taking the battery out and putting the battery back in for uh, maybe a couple times before it finally pops up with that message. But you need to wait until that message comes up to do the update or this will not work. Alright, as you can see the update is at 100% now. And now the Mavic is sort of restarting itself. Love to hear that sound. Okay, and I can now see uh, that the battery has four lights on it now instead of the two lights in the middle that blinked about every 15 or so seconds. Uh, and now it says update complete. So we're gonna go ahead and click the back button. And you now see that it says we have the current update. And you could downgrade if you, if you wanted to, um, but uh, you do have the current one here. And now the battery is working. All right, YouTube, so I hope that helped. Um, as you can see, I now have a battery that has four lights on it, no longer two lights blinking in the middle, uh, that this thing is dead. Uh, so I hope that helps you guys. Uh, I know I would have been very upset had I had a dead battery on my brand new uh, DJI Mavic Pro. So uh, any questions at all, leave them in the comment box below. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.